I'm absolutely not confident about this one, about someone that has made a tutorial about all the good steals from the enemies, nah. And I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised at this moment, I'm not surprised, but I see some of my videos are here, even there, I mean, sometimes they get suggested, so that's something, my guides are spreading a little bit and I'm happy about that, so without further ado, let's start with, this is how to get all the good steals from the enemy. So, let's clarify two things. One, the steals are not guaranteed, let me explain. Every time you use steal, a dice is rolled between 1 and 2, and dependently from the result, you get a different item, and you can only get one total item per enemy. It doesn't matter if you escape, it doesn't matter anything. If you steal, you cannot steal any more from that enemy. And also, I will not cover all the steals of the game, because a lot of them are just boring. You can just steal some random silver coins, or some useless weapons that are just useless because you have access to, I don't know, Eastern Sword, or Bone Shears, or Shark Teeth. I'll make tutorials about those in the future, maybe, don't worry. And with this clarification, we can start from the basement, where we are going to fight the Iron Shakespeare. You see? You can steal from the Iron Shakespeare either a quill or an empty scroll, and I mean, I think you know how how good these items are. The empty scroll is basically a free generator or an I of an item or of a skill, and the quill is what you need to have in order to use an empty scroll. Also, while in the basement, pay a visit to Sir Seymour if you want, and you can steal a scroll of the long sword. I already discussed how good this is. Leg sweep is basically a skill that can insta kill doors, so you immediately get access to things such as saving Lagarde or the miasma if you want. And don't leave the basement yet, because if you want, you can be sucked into the floor. And if you wait enough, you will be able to face the witch, which will grant you either a soul stone, which is a very useful item, or a purifying talisman, which can be debatably useful if you want to go for, I don't know, walk on water skill or something, but we will discuss this in another video. Now we are in the level 1 of the dungeon, and you can steal from the Dark Cultists, if you are not in hard mode, a Book of Enlightenment, which is a very useful item that grants you a way to save one, one use only, and it's perfect! You have instantly, from the start of the game, if you have steal, of course, a way to save the game without having to rely on a bed or something else. While still in this zone, why not steal in from Torture? You can get the Vault Key, and I already discussed how good the Vault Key is if you want to get the Penance Armor, I made a video about that if you're interested. And now it's time to move down to the Blood Pit. Here, sometimes a Lizardman will spawn, and if you want to test your luck, you will be able to get a Crude Sword by stealing, which is a very powerful sword, actually. This is the only one I'm gonna mention, because it almost jumped my attack from, uh, I don't know, 60 to 110. It's a, it's a two-handed weapon, but it's pretty nice considering you can get it right at the start of the game. Now let's go to Isaiah. It doesn't matter if it is in Mahabra because of its quest or if it is in the level 1 dungeon, if you test your luck you will be able to get a scroll of fencing, which teaches you how to use dash. It's not so useful if you start the game with dash, and you probably will, and you can also get one if you steal from the Gaunt Knight down in Mahabra. And now it's time for my favorite steal of the game. While you face Baltail, you can also just steal after you have destroyed the brain parts, so he will not fight back. You can steal 100% surely two soul stones. 